If you don't know me, my name is Taranji Singh Rai and yes, I'm an award-winning scientist, teacher, lecturer and a football coach. What I'm not is a financial advisor. This is crypto specific. Uh, examples will be crypto specific, but these things are same exact in every other job, every other business. The principles are exactly the same. So whatever I'm going to tell you today, you take it with yourself and apply to whatever field you are in. Because this is crypto specific, the first thing is English. If you know how to speak English, how to write English, how to listen to English, there is no reason for you not to have some kind of extra income on the side because it is not difficult. I'm going to show you today why. So if you are bilingual or trilingual, that is sensational because majority of the crypto projects will have regional channels. I can speak Hindi, Punjabi, I can speak Urdu, I can read, write three languages. That's a massive skill set. Even if you don't get the main big role in a project, there is always a language mod requirement. Many, many discords you are in, you will see there will be a regional channel. The average salary for discord, the language mods is anywhere between 50 to 150 USDC per month. The second most important thing here is you should know how to safely use Discord and Telegram. Majority of the scams happen on Discord and Telegram. You click a malicious link and you can get wiped out. Uh, your wallets, your laptop security, they all can be bypassed. So really be very, very suspicious. Everyone, everything, every link is a scam trying to scam you. That's the way you have to go in. There is a meme call called uh, Okie Doki. They are, I think, genuine team i think odin protocol is behind them but i'm not going to connect my wallet even if it is 10000 usdc worth of airdrop i'm not still going to connect my wallets until i'm 110% sure so security is the most important thing so the second thing after the language skills you need is you need to be very very careful with scams because if you are a discord mod and you get hacked it's a really bad impression no one will hire you plain simple same thing for telegram simple things you can do switch off your dms and then just have a separate device for discord a separate device for telegram so how do i select which project to go for my success rate i would say is close to 80 to 90 percent if i want something if i want ambassador role if i want a mod role my success rate is very very high very very important to come across as very sincere come what may never lose your patience kind of person so what are my criteria firstly it should be a new project why because most of the time new projects are looking for the moderators most of the time they are looking for mods it should be a great team again majority of the funding that happens really it doesn't go for the tech it goes for the team when i was in boston and we used to go to these angel investors pitch our ideas as management students every single time the message was the vcs invest in great team not just ip not just tech so find a great team that project must have great team they must have great tokenomics there is no point if, if something has a gazillion amount of tokens or the inflation is 120 150 percent that's not, not gonna help because most of the time your salary will be in the token of that project if that token is worth shit you wouldn't get much money and i it i suffered i had this scenario previously so i am speaking from experience here lastly it should be a great problem to solve there is gazillion amount of blockchains every single day roll up after roll up layer one layer two so much noise how do you focus and the way you focus is is it solving a great problem ethereum's greatest problem for scalability was this modularity idea the data availability idea and again celestia killed it now Let's take each point and discuss each point with a specific example. A shameless uh, plug, everyone will get basic access uh, for less than $10 a month. If you really want a personal hand holding, especially if you're coming from stock uh, world, especially if you're coming from TradFi and you need me to help you on the weekends, the I would encourage you to get this package because I will teach you everything one-on-one. -on -one. I'll do portfolio reviews. I'll do everything. I'm not going to spend too much time on it, but so that shameless plug is away. Uh, I'm going to use my role as ambassador lead in Stride. New project. Stride was a new project. Uh, Aiden, Riley, Vishal, they are sensational. I've been following them. I've been listening to their AMAs. They are really genuine builders, genuine devs. Uh, it is a great team. Tickmark, Stride is a new project. Tickmark 2, it has great team. Only 100 million tokens. And every year inflation is reduced by half. I think Stride's inflation now is probably 1.5 to two percent for the whole global economy to properly succeed you need one to two percent inflation and stride has that the max supply
supply there is 100 million. So tokenomics was awesome. Great problem to solve. There was no liquid staking in Cosmos. Lido was killing it on Ethereum. So the way I found Stride was, I said, what is it in on, on Cosmos? So I found three projects. I found Stride, I found Quicksilver, and I found Persistence. Uh, nothing against uh, Persistence. They have a great team as well. Uh, but I decided Stride just because I think my frequency uh, maybe matched more and they were faster to the market than anyone else. And hence, they have the biggest. I am with Stride since day one, by the way. That's the reason why I gave you Stride at 18 to 20 cents. I, I don't remember uh, exactly. So that's, a I don't know, how many X? Close to 30X from my call. Okay, so the problem there was there was no liquid staking uh, derivative in Cosmos. The second big problem was you have Atom natively staked. You need 21 days to, to wait for the tokens to unbound. With the liquid staking module, which I knew they were building, you really can sell your staked Atom like that now due to liquid staking uh, module. So it was a new project. It had a great team. It had great tokenomics and it was solving a great problem. Everything tick, tick, tick. I decided, okay, I want a job here. But rather than asking for a job, what did I do? I read all the white paper all the medium articles. I followed the team members. I read their Twitter posts. And whenever there was an opportunity in socials, in Discord, on Twitter spaces, I displayed a superior understanding of the protocol. They knew me already before I asked for any role because they knew I was responding to questions in Discord. They knew that I had the superior knowledge of the protocol. The next step is decision makers. You can't just go to a mod and say, hey guys, give me a job. Bypass them. How do you identify key decision makers? Guys, this is for every other job. If, if you're applying for a finance job, you need to know key decision makers. If you're applying for grants, you need to know in my day job, who are the key decision makers that you need to impress. For example, if I'm going for Northern Ireland chest, heart and stroke uh, grant, I'm going to, you know, go on their social media and make my presence felt. Just maybe liking or commenting. This is called soft diplomacy. It applies everywhere. So identify who is the person who will take the decision. You can go to Discord AMAs, Twitter Spaces, YouTube channel, and find out who are the decision makers. Bypass everyone. There's no point you wasting time with ordinary mods. I'm so sorry if you are any, any mod or, or anywhere. And, and then just go to the decision maker and say, by the way, I've spent many, many months here. I have educated myself about this protocol. Are you guys looking for mods? Are you guys looking for more ambassadors? If they already know you, 90% of the time, they will say yes. Yeah. Boom. Success. Don't settle for the first. They will always try to offer you less. Do not settle for the first offer. Negotiate. And don't just say, I need more money. Just say, what if I bring more value? Could you increase my token allocation? So many projects like, for example, Mintrest has two year resting on my tokens. Just say, can I just sell staking your wall? Or just say, can you stake my token? There is so much to do. Do not settle for the first offer, but just don't say, oh, I need more money. Explain the reasons why you should get more money. And again, I have again increased my salaries on at least on all three projects just by communicating increased uh, value. I think that's pretty much it, folks. So that ends the the lecture just a quick word on salaries as well i have on twitter taken 20 usdc as cut as well in the beginning two years ago you need to land few roles even if it is that for cheap uh, I, I worked uh, as a mod there for 50 usdc per month it was kind of shameful to accept given my uh, reputation in day job i could have thought like that but i didn't i said experience this goes on my cv so build your cv uh, maybe the initial roles take cheap ones like even 25 to 50 usdc Invest that and try to grow that. So mods usually get anywhere between 100 to 250. A senior mods will get anywhere between 250 to 500. And then ambassador leads, they get anywhere between 750 to 1500. I know Osmosis pays 3200 per mod. You move to a warm country with that salary and that's gonna, it's, it's gonna be massive. Now I wanna know what are your thoughts. Tell me in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video.